G'day guys, Dan here at the Australian Reptile Park. I'm so excited because I'm about to introduce you to the coolest animal that calls the Reptile Park home. Of course, I'm talking about our 42 kilogram Komodo dragon. Now, when you're working with Komodos, you have to remember they are potentially quite a dangerous animal. But over many, many years, we've formed an incredible bond with Kraken in particular, and I'm gonna show you exactly how we work with our giant Komodo dragons. One of the most important parts of my day and all the keepers here that work with our Komodo dragons is when we take them out on their daily enrichment walks. Not only is this walk extremely enriching for the Komodo dragons, all the sights and smells as they move around, but the most important thing is the exercise. In the wild, male Komodo dragons will walk kilometers in a day sometimes. So here at the park, we encourage our Komodo dragons to do that every single day as we take them out on their daily walks. But this is one of the most important things you can do in looking after a Komodo dragon. You have to keep them really, really fit, really, really muscular, just like you'd find them out in the wild. Komodo dragons can famously reach weights of 100 kilograms. Now Kraken, he's still growing, but he only weighs around 42 kilograms, but he's gonna to continue to grow for the entirety of his life. They can get to around three meters long, and at the moment, Kraken is 2.1 meters long. They're beautiful lizards, and the coloration of this particular animal, like he's quite vibrant. Now watch the way he moves towards his favorite tree over here. He's gonna rub himself on the side of that tree. Now that I've said it, he's probably not gonna do it, but he'll usually scratch his neck, and then the whole body as well. Let's see if he does it. Don't make a liar out of me, Kraken. So he's had a little lick. He knows that's his famous tree and he's moved away from it. <laughs> now obviously to be able to work this closely with such a big lizard, we have to form a pretty special bond with him. He needs to trust me and also the fact I need to be cons constantly reading his body language. A bite from a Komodo dragon could be really, really bad, whether it's me or any of the other keepers that work here at the park. So we're always keeping an eye on a few things. Komodo dragons will usually give you a few signals that they might not be in the best mood. They'll curl up their tail and tail whip. They'll start to puff out their throat. They'll extend out their body and start to really huff and make a bit of a fuss. But what you really got to worry about is that quick flash of movement in front of the Komodo dragon's head. Now, if a Komodo dragon does bite you, their teeth are about that big. They're razor sharp, they're serrated along the back, and they are recurved, they're designed to slice. So our soft, delicate skin is not designed to cop a bite from a big lizard like this. I've worked with Kraken for over four and a half years, not once have I ever had anything to worry about. But in saying that, every single day, I'm still watching out for those behaviors. Now, when most people think of Komodos, they think of kind of mindless killing machines. If he was a mindless killing machine, that duck would be in a lot of trouble. He knows that duck's there, he can see it moving, he can definitely smell it, but he's not moving towards it at all. Bring the camera around, get him drinking, look at that. He's actually having a really big drink. Now, to be honest, we don't catch the Komodo drinking all that often. So this is really cool to watch. Head down, lapping up, taking a really big drink of the fresh water that's run down the creek and through the park. So this is one of my favorite things to do with our Komodo dragons. Now I've actually got some boxes here, but it's what's inside the boxes that's really important. You see, I've hidden away some of Kraken's favorite types of food. Now usually with our Komodo dragons, we'll carcass feed them, which means we'll throw in a really large carcass, Kraken will basically eat as much as he possibly can, and then we won't feed him for again for another couple of weeks. But another way to feed the Komodo dragons is stimulating them in a different manner, and that's by enrichment. So what I'm gonna make Kraken do today is work for his food. So he actually has to dig into the boxes to find the treats that he's after. Sometimes he figures out very quickly, other times it can take him a little bit longer. Now this is very stimulating for Kraken, and it, rather than us just walking in, giving him the food and then walking out again, we get to spend a little bit of time with him and watch a few of his natural behaviors as well. All right, Kraken, here is your boxes. Now, usually he'll come over and investigate straight away, but let's see how he goes today. So you can see what he's doing. He's flicking out his tongue all the time. 
And that's because Komodo dragons use that forked tongue to pick up scent particles. Now he knows that there's food around. He's just trying to figure out exactly where it is. What he'll start to do is use his strong claws and he'll rip apart the boxes or he's gonna stick his head straight in the box uh, and figure it out nice and easily. Now, there he goes, he's figured it out, he's found the hole. Now what sometimes happens is the box actually gets stuck to his head. He's found the food and he's actually gonna pull his head out. No, he's just gonna eat it while it's inside the box. Obviously, we're trying to get Kraken to stay motivated, looking for his food, foraging for his food. That's how they do it out in the wild. They, they, they move around and they try and find dead carcasses to feed on. But also too, they'll predate on other animals as well. So this kind of behavior really encourages that movement. It encourages him to investigate things and it also encourages him to find his food. Outside of things like chicken, goat, rat, we'll also feed them uh, fish as well, whole fish. Watching him eat a fish is one of my favorite things, the way he swallows it whole. It's one of my favorite things to watch, is Kraken eating a whole fish. The way the fish goes down, it's just one of my favorite pastimes here at the reptile park. What I think is incredible about the behavior that we're seeing right now is we've got a Komodo dragon, a big lizard. People talk about how scary and dangerous they are. He is not paying attention to me, not even in the slightest. He's not worried about me at all. Now I should be a threat to Kraken. I weigh a little bit more than he does. I'm sitting right near his food, but he knows that's his dinner and I'm not gonna be sticking my head inside with him trying to eat the, the rat or the, or the egg that's inside the box. So he's very relaxed even though it's feed time and he has uh, other people inside of his exhibit. Now I really hope you enjoyed this video, getting to know our beautiful Komodo dragon our superstar, Kraken. He really is an incredible creature. We have plenty more videos we're going to show you. Up next is working with some of Australia's most venomous snakes. So tune in for that. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time at the Reptile Park. See you later.